What's up world, it's Dallas with Softmodder, and today's episode is going to be all about Root. Here in front of me I have an at t variant of the Galaxy S5, which has thus far been unrootable, just like its Verizon counterpart. Root has been in such demand for this device that an $18,000 bounty has been raised for anybody that can get this thing super user privileges. Well, legendary hacker George Hotz, better known by his online name GeoHot, has finally found an exploit that will root these two variants of the GS5. What's more, his exploit, Tower Root, works so well that it'll even root almost any Android device with a kernel build date of June 3rd, 2014 or older. Yes, you heard that right. This exploit will root almost any Android phone. And it doesn't require a PC with ADB or any of that complicated stuff. For Samsung users, many folks have reported that this method doesn't even trip Knox. But you should still proceed as if your warranty will be voided once you've rooted. So just to show you that I'm doing this in real time, which allegedly takes less than a minute, I'll open up Root Checker and press Verify Root. You can see that as of right now, I'm not rooted. Here in about a minute, I should be. First thing though, you'll have to ready your phone for sideloading since GeoHot's app isn't on the Play Store. So head to Settings, then under the System section, find Security. And here just tick the box next to Unknown Sources, then press OK on the pop-up. Now you can install apps from outside of the Play Store. So to grab GeoHot's towel root, just head to TowelRoot.com from your phone's web browser. Here, like the page says, tap the Lambda symbol to start the download. When it's finished, just tap the notification up here to launch the installer. From here, hit install. Then when that's done, press open. There's just one button in this app, and that's the button that does all the magic. So just tap make it rain to get things going. And then it says something to the extent of give this about 15 seconds to do its thing and your device will automatically reboot. When it comes back up, it should be rooted. So while it's doing that, let me tell you what's happening. GeoHot made Tower Root work using an exploit found by fellow hacker Pinkie Pie. What his discovery boils down to is that a certain situation can arise that essentially crashes the kernel on Linux-based systems like Android. While the kernel is in this crashed state and the OS is still running, an app can ask for root privileges and it will automatically be granted them. So Tower Root induced that kernel crash, then got super user privileges from Android, then copied the necessary files over so that other apps could get super user privileges in the future. Okay, so we're back up now. Let's see if we are indeed rooted. I'll open up Root Checker again, which you can find in the Play Store, and hit Verify Root. Bam! This thing is rooted. Just like that. Pretty impressive, considering how fast and easy that was. But let's have a look at the way super user permissions are doled out now. Okay, so say you download a Root app, like Titanium Backup. When you open an app like this one for the first time, normally you should be prompted to allow or deny it super user privileges. But as you can see, that doesn't happen here. Tower Root doesn't install a super user management app, it just automatically grants Root to anything that asks. That's definitely a security risk, because malware apps could do some pretty gnarly things to your phone if they got Root permission. So if you head to Play Store and search SuperSU, you can install Chainfire's app, which is the best Root management app out there. If you use Tower Root on an Android device that had already been rooted using a different method, it's likely that this version of SuperSU will work perfectly with your phone. But since the Verizon and AT&T Galaxy variants haven't been rooted before just yesterday, the SuperSU that's available here on Play Store doesn't support them yet. But Chainfire has already made a new GS5 compatible version that you can download over at the link in the description. It just hasn't made its way to the Play Store as of me recording this video. So I'll go ahead and sideload the newer version and show you how that setup works. Again, just hit install then open. First, SuperSU will walk you through updating your super user binaries. Just hit continue here. Then on this next screen, it wants to know what method you'd like to use to install the binaries. Since we've only rooted, but we haven't yet installed a custom recovery, just pick normal here. Next, if you're using a Samsung phone, it may ask you to delete Knox. If you get that screen, just tell it no thanks. And now that SuperSU has updated the binaries, a reboot is in order. So I'll take care of that and get right back with you. Okay, so now that we're back up, let's give Titanium Backup another try. When I open it this time, SuperSU comes in and asks if I want to give this app super user permissions. I'll grant it though since I'm very familiar with Titanium Backup and I trust its developer. But if it were a random malware app asking, I'd get the same chance to deny it root permissions. So my phone is much more secure now. But for the full breakdown on using Tower Root, 
be sure to check out the link in the description. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.